Good evening, children of God. This is George with the Cross Country Mission. Welcome to the opening show. Talk about the Satan's opening show, right? Talk about a major power play and a major grab for world domination. Hey, if this ain't it, I don't know what is. Let me just remind you because these forced inoculations are coming. And you're going to have a car. Matter of fact, I just talked to, uh, my dad just talked to his brother that's in southern Arkansas, just or northern Arkansas, just on the southern edge of Missouri. And they're, they're issuing cars now saying that you've been tested. I guess they're waiting on their results to come back, but they give them this card. And it shows that they have indeed been tested. I don't know. I saw somebody on Facebook say that they was concerned about their parents getting back from Florida because there's check stops. I saw some stuff about New York where they're over in a, 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 a neighboring state. Maine or, or something like that, but they're going to go door to door looking for New York residents that's hiding out there in their vacation homes or something. Hey, they're coming to your door. They're going to force this inoculation on you. Do I believe this is the mark of the beast? Absolutely. I don't, I don't believe it's the mark of the beast. No way. But for all you people out here that believe that hey, it's my body, it's my choice, hey, it's her choice, it's her body. Well, what about me and my choice and my body? What about you and your choice and your body? Huh? You ain't got no choice. Because it's going to come down to it. To where if you want to go to work, you're going to have to have the shot. And you're going to have to have the car to prove it. To get into Walmart, you're going to have to tap it. Hey, and it better turn green. If it don't turn green, you ain't getting into Walmart. You ain't getting no food. You hear what I'm saying? You better get it together. You better take heed. And you better call on the name of the Lord. Because he's the only one that's going to save you. Hey, this six foot between people? I don't know. i got my own theories about that too. Well, listen here, he says. He causes all, both small. This is in Revelation 13 and, and 16. He says, He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive the mark on their right hand or on their forehead, and that no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who understands calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. I'm just telling you, children of God, pray to the Lord your God to deliver you from this sickness that's coming upon the world. I don't care what you believe, are, whether you believe it's naturally occurring, whether you believe it's real, whether you believe it's not real. It doesn't matter. It's here. It's here. I pray for your health. I pray for your well-being. But you, hey, you're going to have to make a choice. You're either going to follow this way or you're going to go this way. There ain't going to be no in-between. And let me, let me also just remind you, in um, Revelation 14, and nine, he says, then a third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on their forehead or the right hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the lamb. Talk about in the presence of Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? You better make your choice. I, I pray that you choose the Lord. Now is the time that you need to be on your knees. Now is the time that you need to be repenting for your sins. I don't care how small. If you've caused somebody to stumble in their walk with God, you need to repent for that. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to my room. I'm going to repent for that right now because I just, I caused somebody to fall yesterday. Satan is always on the prowl. You need to stay current with your Constant repentance. Don't let, there's, there's going to be a time, Jesus says, that you need to seek the Lord while you can find him because there's going to come a time when you ain't going to be able to find him and it's going to be too late to seek him, children of God. I love you and Jesus loves you. I'm going to pray for you and uh, you, keep, you keep me and my family in your prayers too. It's George with the Cross Country Mission. Amen. Praise God. Stay sharp, children of God. Stay sharp.